everyone, welcome back. It's Comics with Callaway here, and uh, back with another video. We got a Newsarama, Newsarama article here. Uh, Kickstarter's comic outreach lead Camilla Zong, Zhang Zong. Um, Aussie said a little bit different. Laid off. Kickstarter's comic outreach lead Camilla Zhang had has confirmed she is among the 40% of people who were laid off by the crowdfunding campaign this month, crowdfunding company. It breaks my heart to say this will be my last week at Kickstarter. Uh, May 8th marked my second year at the company and only a day before I found out that I would be among the 40% of staff laid off. In the two years of the company, Zhang launched Small Press Big Ideas Initiative with SPX, launched the company's first ever comics anthology organ organized free creator headshots at FlameCon and was part of the comics category gain over one over 15 million in pledges for 2018-2019. Zhang said that the Kickstarter union which she was part of helped negotiate severance packages for her and those like for four months pay and year of recall rights which gives me hope that I may return to grow and serve the community. Uh, we got a Twitter here. Uh, my last week at Kickstarter, it's been an honour and a joy to have served the comics community as an outreach lead, and I'll continue to do so on my own, offering free advice via the link. And, if, and in the meantime, here is my love letter to creators and my colleagues. Now we're not going to worry about reading that. Um, maybe it's a little bit of karma. Um, we all know that she's been the political commissar at Kickstarter. Uh, she for kicking people out that don't that they believe don't support their values and their beliefs and you know the, the typical uh, 21st century modern day politics and society the way it is so you know they made headlines when they when they unionized the crowdfunding platform the company uh, she kicked out your boy Zach's jawbreakers she kicked out Mike S Miller uh, jo um, John Malin, he was part of the Jawbreakers book at the time, I'm pretty sure, and just kicked out just for a lot of people. And you know, we all know that um, Always Punch Yahtzee's book when they promoted that and it didn't make any money. Do I think that she was fired because of that? And do I think? Her political job is the reason for Kickstarter's downfall. No, I don't. Uh, it certainly wouldn't have helped. Um, I think Kickstarter's in the in the problem they are because of the obviously because of the way the company is run. I don't think she's the only political gatekeeper there. I think Kickstarter is has been turned into a big political platform that now is built on. Uh, ideology from the left and that sort of stuff they don't whereas you see indiegogo seems to be more worried about just making business making money not changing the world whereas kickstarter wants to kind of like an it's turned into kind of like an activist company you know it's rather than just take your commissions from comic creators or whatever other campaigns they do they they want to check your political beliefs beforehand you know um so do I think she, um, they're in trouble because of her? No, but I think maybe with all this, with the beer flu and the, the economic crisis that the world's facing, uh, when they've had to lay off the 40% of people, maybe they, the bean counters have looked and thought, hey, this woman, we're paying her X amount of money each year to vet to vent and to vet and background check the people that want to use our platform and we're paying her but while we're paying her she's also costing us money in the certain areas of the business by not letting people use the platform um, I did watch Ethan stream I'm pretty sure he said that they take 7% commission on any crowdfunding book so if they say if they're paying her a hundred thousand dollars a year, that's all, I don't know what she's making. That's just throwing it out there. I'm just saying that as an example. So we're paying her a hundred thousand, but while she's making a hundred thousand from us, she's costing us a hundred thousand a year in campaigns that she's turning away. 
So maybe that had a bit to do with it. Maybe the bean counters saw that. Or maybe she was just, maybe they really are strapped for cash and they have to, they really are, they're letting a lot of people go and maybe she was just one of them. And if that's the case, well then, I think that's just a bit of karma. Um, it's never nice to see people lose their job. I've been in that situation before where you get mate going to work and they call you in the office, say, we're, we're laying people off, you're going to be made redundant. Easy package, see you later. No handshake, no nothing. It's not a nice feeling, so I don't wish that on her, but she has made waves and made headlines and uh, pissed a lot of people off and all because of her political beliefs and you know, that they, she kicked out John uh, John Malin and Richard Meyer jawbreakers and that book made, what, 400 and something thousand? So, that's my, you know, they could have made 7% of that. So, it is what it is. You know, it's always sad to see someone lose their job, but when it's people like this that are costing people money and, and like the way your boy Zach explains it, so she, say they kick out jewel breakers everybody on the jewel breakers team they also lose a job not that kickstarter would care but everybody on zach's team they lose a job and then everybody at kickstarter that would be in charge of promoting and the production and the marketing and all that stuff on the kickstarter side well then they don't they're not um, being used at the company, so then their positions become uh, threatened because they're not doing anything. So it's like, why do we need to employ you? So it's just bad business. When your whole business is taking commissions off from people to use your platform, you're you're taking money for basically doing nothing. So when you turn people away, you're just turning away money. And that's one thing with like Indiegogo is they seem to make it clear that they're just there to make money, make business. They're not there to change the world. If you want to use their platform, use their platform. Within, obviously, you know, they, everybody's got standards. So, but Indiegogo made it clear by promoting and letting all the comics gate guys use their platform of comics. And now with the comics gate people, they've just blown Indiegogo's popularity and um, recognition out, like blown the roof off it. Now everybody knows that when you go to kick, go to Indiegogo, that's where comics are. And I've been on, I've been on Kickstarter. I bought a comic from there once, and their website is it's awful to use to like the perks set up, and it's just it's confusing. And there's a lot of there's a lot of comics on Kickstarter that you just you don't hear of, you don't see, they don't seem to promote it, they don't seem to do anything like that. Um, but they promote the ones that they, that suit their agenda. Whereas Indiegogo, you, you you get on there and you just everything's promoted and you really know what's going on there. So um, yeah, it is what it is. So. That's my take, guys. Uh, it's not nice to see someone lose their job, but when you're when you're a political commissar and you're costing people money and costing people jobs, well, then it's sort of karma, I guess. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. I'm gonna try and do a few videos a day. A couple of digital comic reviews, the Superman ones and the latest Aquaman, and we'll see what else we can talk about. Thanks, guys.